Hi everybody, thanks for watching Power Walk. That episode was created by me and our friend Hilary Edson Polk based on her Power Walk relationship with Margie Fox, another dear friend of ours and a friend of the show's. Well, first of all, can I just start off by saying that this is a very big mistake interviewing me and not Margie. Please, you look like a homeless Annie Hall. Because Margie is really the funnier, hipper, cooler sex. At the same time, we're both equal parts mess. You look like a pink Polly Pocket named Tiffany. Archie and I, um, we started walking together years ago before we had kids and we needed to lose some weight. So we said we checked ourselves into what would have commonly been called a fat farm, but it was called uh, the New Age Health Spa. And um, we were so fatigued because they wouldn't let us have coffee. We'd given up cigarettes. They said, well, why don't you walk? It was what they called a walking exercise. And they taught us how to walk. That's right, ladies. We took lessons in this power walking tour. Now, years later, we're still walking, and we walk in Central Park, and it's our thing to do, and we love it. But, you know, while we're walking, one of the things that we discovered is we like to beat other people that were in front of us, particularly younger people. Oh, seriously? The JV Swan wants to race? We thought they were sort of in on it, just like the episode, but in fact, they had the clue that we were, you know, passing them and feeling that we were sort of victorious. My comrade in spandex is seriously threatened. And bitch face is giving us the stink eye. Definitely, you know, she said on more than one occasion, you know, how does my butt measure up to this person? And, and Compared to hers, how big is my ass? Oh my God, you're so much smaller. Oh, and one time she did it and the woman heard us. Monty was too close and talking too loud. And the woman... <laughs> turned around and shot us through daggers. So in setting up the parallel power walking couples, we really wanted to uh, build upon like the style of each. So obviously Margie's parallel was to Sherry and then Hillary's was to mine. It's pretty comparable to both relationships. This is a bad idea. I have a funny induced asthma. Self-diagnose. I'm definitely getting a sore throat. Just like the attention. Sherry actually owns two of those blue unitards. Margie Fox, she's been known for a brightly colored, audaciously assembled ensemble. She's always making fun of me. As soon as she doesn't understand how I can walk in a pair of jeans. She's in spandex and she's doing fine. It's all in your head. And not a pair of, like, Lululemons. Or... I think I would wear blue unitard also if I looked like that. So the other fun thing is that these two best friends of many years, Hillary and Margie, have two daughters that are the same age. No, well, but they're both in eighth grade. That's... Which is such a blessing. So we thought, while well, we're structuring the funny age gap between JV Squad Hot Mess and Expert Hot Mess, we should have their daughters play an even younger generation and make us feel bad about it. Have our girls in it was just super, super wonderful. I'm so sorry, ma'am. So... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You know, they never think they're going to be your age, and you guys never think you're going to be our age, and we never think we're going to be our mother's age. And... Did they just call us? Ma'am? It's also a famous nod to Mary Tyler Moore for you MTM fans out there. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. 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 Oh, you mean me? Yes, ma'am. 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 Serves him right. Hillary actually has a long history in soaps. She was on Another World, Guiding Light, and General Hospital. When you sniff out a damsel in distress, but I'm not a damsel and I'm not in distress. I was working on um, one of the shows and we all have dressing rooms and so the girl's dressing room across from me smelled like smoke. Like, oh my God, she's falling asleep and either she's smoking a cigarette or something. It smelled, it smelled weird. Open the door and she and her love interest are making out on the it was a bit awkward because they were both married to ease the I discovered I pretended that you guys must be rehearsing. Um, I'm sorry, for I thought there was a fire. And what it was was she was lighting sage. I love it only in a soap opera or an adult film. Could you walk into people making out and go, Oh, y'all aren't committing adultery, you're just rehearsing. When you wear the thong underwear. You know what the panty line showing on T V and I was doing a scene and I had a skirt on and and the skirt popped up a little bit because I the you know, the camera guy had to come up to me and say, like, Hillary, you know, you might wanna pull your skirt down or wear a bit, you know, full blown underwear. I'm simply an ER doctor who's tired, who stinks of scrub soap, and I'm trying to start a new life. When you're older you got you realize nobody 
he really cares that much. So it's a great, it's a great freedom. Where's the finish line? Just up to that building up ahead. I don't know, but we have to win. I thought, you know, I was a little lame with the walking, but, but otherwise, I thought it was very funny and it came off great. Hillary and I also agreed that our power walks looked really lame compared to Margie and Sherry, who were actually pumping the arms and doing the waddle, and we. Oh, there's a little more coordination than I can handle it. We regret not stepping up a little more than we did. It looks like uh, Sherry and Margie were shot separately from you and me. <laughs> oh. What's that sound? So the stomach gurbling actually belongs to Sherry. Sometimes, in the middle of a long run, have some stomach problems. Increased heart rate triggers my IBS. Sounds like a drowning Muppet. Ah! Like it was created by Jim Henson. Oh, and I do have self-diagnosed athletic-induced asthma. This is a bad idea. I have athletic-induced asthma. And I was prescribed an optional inhaler for gym class. What? I was prescribed an optional inhaler for gym class. So tune in next week for some more hot mess and some talking mess to follow. See you soon. Bye. Amy, people run marathons with one leg. You could power walk for three miles. <sighs>